So I'm really excited um, to be able to tell you about a book that just came out today. Uh, this is something that I had an arc for and I, over the weekend was like, oh, this book is coming out soon and I should probably try to read it. Um, if nothing else, cause you know, like I've said a few times, I'm not really going to review a book in detail if it's not something that I can say a lot of good things about. Um, but I knew it was coming out this week and I was like, well, um, you know, if I like it, I can do a review for it. And if not, I can at least let the publisher know that I've read it in time before publication. And this is absolutely a five-star read. It was hilarious. I loved it. I didn't even think I, like, I wasn't even that interested in it. I was just like, eh, I might as well read it. It's something different. And I started it over the weekend because I thought, oh, I should get to it because, you know, the publication date's coming up. And honestly, like, read it in an afternoon, loved it. Um, so the summary of the book is called Old Boys by Nick Spaulding. Um, and I definitely want to try to check out more by this writer because it's hilarious. Um, and so I, I don't know if like his writing style is the same in other books. Um, but the summary is in this hilarious and heartfelt story from the best-selling author of Dry Hard, Will hasn't seen his rock star dad for 30 years, but now he's back for an encore. Will Fairweather is getting old. His back aches, his bowels misbehave if he eats spicy food, and he's completely lost his sense of rhythm. Life has taught him not to take risks, but even that hasn't stopped his marriage hitting the rocks, too. The last thing he needs is a surprise call from Red Fairweather, devil may care rock god, and the father Will hasn't seen for 30 years. If Will's old before his time, Red's the boy who won't grow up. When Will needs somewhere to live with nowhere else to turn, he finds himself back with the Hellraiser who deserted his family. As Will tries to come to terms with the downward spiral of his life, he starts to realize there's more to Red than he thought. There's a real human being under all that leather and attitude. A dad determined to make up for lost time and help his son get back on track. Can Will make his peace with a father seeking forgiveness? So when I read this summary, I'll be honest, I was just kind of like, I mean, I'll try something different, but this, I don't think, one, I don't think I'm the target audience, and I just, this sounds, you know, I don't really care about people's relationships, it sounds kind of cheesy, and it's not. It's absolutely hilarious. Um, I mean, there's a point, you know, it's not just, like, nonsense, but it's, I mean, we start out, and we meet, I mean, the characters are just fantastic, so we meet um, Will, and... You know, he's basically, we. the first time we meet him, he's trying to decide if he should have um, ham a ham salad sandwich or a chicken chipotle because he has a meeting with marketing later this afternoon and he doesn't want to have, like, digestive issues. And he's disappointed because he'd really like the chipotle, but he feels like it's too threatening and too much of a risk. And I think that kind of summarizes exactly what kind of person he is. And But it's, he's not he's not annoying. Like he's totally relatable. Um, and then, you know, his dog is, um, getting old. And so he's been talking to his wife about, um, how his, you know, is there anything we can do? And she went to the vet with the dog and, you know, it turns out like basically the vet's like, he's just getting old. Um, and I mean, so Will is the kind of person like, his favorite thing to do is he's part of a Ramblers group, which is apparently a thing. Um, I don't know much about that. I don't know if that's a thing in the U.S. or if it's just something in the, in the U.K. But basically, he gets together with a bunch of people, all, most of them older than him, and they just kind of walk around um, in, like, sightsee and, like, go... I mean, it's essentially hiking, but it's, like, really, like, low stress, essentially. Um and he's a very routine guy. So, like, he gets home and he spends all day thinking about his dog. And he just wants to get home. And since he had the ham salad, he's just going to go home and have a nice baked potato. Because maybe tomorrow he can have the Chipotle because he has no meetings. As long as he eats something that's, like, not too disruptive tonight. And he's already thinking about, like, going home and having his baked potato and watching TV. And as soon as he gets home, his wife is like, hey you know, we should go out and do something. And his response is, it's a Wednesday. People don't go out on Wednesdays. Um, and she says, you know, I don't want to stay home and eat, uh, eat baked potatoes. And he's like, how'd you know I wanted a baked potato? But that's the thing is like, he always wants the same things. He's gotten into this rut. Um, it turns out his mother has died, but part of it's like, 
he just got into this rut. So his wife drags him to this um, barbecue and boogie sort of, um, you eat barbecue and then you learn to dance. And so they learn to like body pop and, you know, he essentially just is like, this is my nightmare. And she's like, you're what's happened to you. You know, you used to be the kind of person that would have fun doing this, even if it was ridiculous. And so she suggests that they take a break and he move out for a while. Um, so he's looking around for some places, um, and there's not really a lot of options. And then out of the blue, his father that he's been estranged from for like three decades calls him and his father is this aging rock star who is in his seventies. Um, but he was like a rock God in the seventies and eighties. And he says, come live with me. Um, and so he goes and lives with his dad besides he's cause he has no other options, um, which is down in like the South coast of England. Um, and this kind of like small beachy town. And, um, so his dad was this drummer and, he used to like to drum, um, but, like, he's kind of, like, tried to separate himself from this whole life, and, you know, he just, he doesn't even want to listen to the songs by his father anymore, um, and his dad hasn't changed that much, you know, so his dad is basically still the rock guy, he still hangs out with all the guys in the rock band, um, and, you know, it just, there's so many, like, ridiculous antics of this rock band, and, like, his dad's trying to kind of be a dad, but he's just not, he doesn't know how, you know, because he's always been this just, like, rock star. And um, so, I mean, there's just total chaos. Like, there's, I mean, there's a llama at one point. He has this um, assistant that his name is, like, David Trafford, but um, for some reason he called him Borkins once, and since like he got hired and I, the guy like basically tried to correct him and he just wouldn't listen. So he still calls him like Borkins. Um, and he's around and he's really funny. Um, it's just, it's a subtle funny. It's definitely like a British humor. So if you like that, um, you know, I, I, it's hard to explain, but basically like, if you like that style, it's very, very funny. Um, but it is heartfelt too. Like there is some, you know, actual like reconciling with your parents, like dealing with the fact that you're aging, recognizing that, you know, that normal kind of fear as you get older, like, oh, I just got to take care of myself and I have to be careful and I can't take risks because, you know, I have to be mature and responsible, but balancing that with the fact that at some point, you know, when you become too risk averse, like you essentially like aren't living, you're just surviving. And, you know, there's always something that's a threat and always something that's a risk. And so, you know, finding that ability to still find joy and, you know, um, like do ridiculous things, um, no matter how old you are. And so, you know, this is one of those books that I absolutely like, I very rarely am like, oh, I'd like to see this as a movie. Um, because usually I just feel like the, you know, adaptations don't go as well. But I could absolutely see this as a very, very good movie. Um, and I don't know if it's just because, like, Bill Nye plays essentially that, like, aging rock star in Love Actually. But, like, I can totally picture him um, in that role and, you know... So some like mid forties, I want to say Colin Firth, but he's like almost the same age as Bill Knight. <laughs> so he can't really be his son. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's hilarious. So go check it out. It is available now. Um, it is. And if you have Kindle unlimited, it's going to be free. I don't know how long, but it's free on Kindle unlimited right now. So, um, even more reason to check it out. It's awesome. Five stars. Absolutely. Loved it. Um, I mean, I haven't read a lot of things like this, but I, I just thought it was a lot of fun. Didn't want to stop reading it. Really loved the characters. Really loved everything about it. So, um, yeah, go check it out. It's out now, and hopefully you enjoy. Bye.